We are in beautiful Tampa for another year of Sofic 2019 this year. What a great conference it's been. So let's start off by talking about the true value behind the Sofic conference for special operations, but also for U.S. SOCOM. The conference really provides that opportunity to, that we really stand for. That's what NDIA is all about, and that is bringing government, SOCOM, OSD, Congress together with industry and academia to solve those toughest problems for the warfighter. And so the opportunity to bring that group together in this size, this venue, this quality of conference really benefits the government. It benefits DOD because they can't do national security without defense industrial base. And obviously it gives our membership, our industry partners, the opportunity to showcase what they can do to DOD. All those technologies that are out there, what's within the realm of the possible. So all they have to do, it's like a one-stop shop, is go up to the exhibit floor where there's 440 companies demonstrating their latest technologies and capabilities. That allows the operator, Special Operations Command, to take those capabilities and match it to their requirements all in one place. And we've had the privilege of being able to walk the exhibit hall, and you're, you're right, I mean, it is all innovation, all technology, all the time. So it's really neat to see how these companies continue to be on the cutting edge of, of technology for the industry. So talking about industry, you mentioned being here under one roof, uh, government and industry. So the value for small, medium, and large companies to also partake in an experience like Sofec. It's all about relationships, right? It's that ability to build relationships between government, the people, the customers, the operators. The folks who are actually going to use the equipment out in the field with our industry, with the engineers, with the companies that are going to develop this technology so both have a better understanding of each other. If the operator knows what industry can do and industry knows what the operator wants, that's what this brings together is that relationship building um, so everybody understands where everybody else is coming for to produce the most capability for the warfighter. I spoke to a gentleman earlier this week about how he um, is a uh, retired military and now he's on the other end of the spectrum. He just started a business. It's a small business, of course. Now he's here on the other end. So it's such a neat perspective to get both sides of, of the field, really, to speak to your point. I spent 39 years in the Air Force and retired out of Air Combat Command. Major General Jim Boozer spent 37 years almost in the Army as an artillery officer. Uh, graduated or left the uh, Army as a commander of U.S. Army Japan. Uh, so we've been there and it's amazing how much we've learned now on the defense industrial base size. But the best part of it is, from NDIA perspective, this is a great, great venue for us to be at because we, we're a 501c3, we're nonprofit. All we want to do is bring these groups together to solve those problems and it really feels like we can continue to give back to the government, to our services that gave us such great lives in the, in the Army and the Air Force, and ultimately our goal, those warfighters out there that are trying to do the nation's business. Absolutely, and, and NTIA, your slogan is at the heart of the mission. So can you speak to that, especially, I mean, it, we're, we're, it's a big year for NDIA, we're celebrating 100 years. So how is NDIA right at the heart of the mission? Well, Sarah, when that mission, when General Carlisle and I saw that mission at the beginning of this year, us and the staff completely fell in love with it because it's really twofold. When we talk about the heart of the mission, we're talking about our warfighters, our soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, they are at the heart of the mission. And we also talk about the defense industrial base, uh, which quite frankly uh, should be considered an extension of the military force structure because they provide that capability to our warfighters. So at the heart of the mission, our membership, the defense industrial base, and why we do what we do, our warfighters. Love it, and that mission's going to continue into 2020, so next what can we expect? Years. I love it, next 100 years, next that's right. 100 years, that's so right. looking ahead into the next year, what can we expect uh, from SOFIC 2020? So I think it's gonna continue to expand. We've talked to the commanding general, uh, General Rich Clark, great guy, great person for this position. Uh, the international uh, folks will come, we'll have a greater international presence with uh, Special Operations Forces, our partner forces from our friends, partners, and allies to be here. Uh, it, I'm, my hope is it's even bigger um, and uh, the ability to, to do more in support of those warfighters. So I think uh, 2020 is going to be great. It's going to be an international year. We're going to have a, a, a great conference in 2020. We're really excited about it. 
Well, we are too. Thank you both so much for everything that you do for this industry and for your time here today. And if you are not registered for Suffolk 2020, it's never too late to do so. So make sure you're here next year so you don't miss out on all of the relationship building and the opportunities right here under one roof. That does it for us on Suffolk TV. I'm Sarah Solomon Donnan.